I think I own about 200 pairs of the Air Force One. I might have a color for every outfit, I'm not gonna lie. I got a long history with the Air Force One shoe myself. Like the late 90s, Jay-Z did a tour called the Hard Knock Life Tour. On the tour, one of the stops was in Portland, the campus home of Nike. So at this time, Air Force Ones had became very big in the hip hop culture. So I got this voucher and I just lost my mind because this place was full of Air Force Ones. They had colors, they had orange and white, they had yellow and white. They had a sky blue and white. They had the white on whites, of course. So um, I think I spent my whole voucher on Air Force Ones that day. And I couldn't wait to get back home and um, show everybody these Air Force Ones that I had, like, you know, got from Portland. I wasn't sure if they had came out in New York or not, so I thought I had, like, a little hidden gem. That tour definitely was eye-opening. I got to see different types of people celebrating and embracing hip hop and, you know, even down to the shoes. The early 2000s was like a Air Force One boom. I started seeing Nike use that pattern of customizing different collaborations and, uh, you know, even like the basketball players. Rashid Wallace, he started playing in the highs. LeBron had an Air Force One. Tony Parker, a lot of guys had a Air Force One shoe, like a custom one. They started being creative with it, changing the textures. You know, you have fur on one, you have cow skin, you have different type of leathers. They even had a time where they had one that was see-through where you could just actually see your foot through the inside of it. I hated those, by the way. One of my most noted times of wearing an Air Force One shoe, I shot a video called Can't Let You Go, and at the end of the video, it cuts to a song called Dan. I remember having some Air Force Ones that I had a Dominican Republic flag placed on the heel of the shoe. It just like exploded. Dominicans everywhere loved it. Even though that was just such a small part, a couple seconds in the video, people connected to that really well. White on white is probably my favorite pair because when you first take them out of the box, it's like opening the gates of heaven because it's like a glow. It's like white and it's bright. It can really fit its way in any kind of outfit. I've seen it all the way down to one of our friends. He, he, he had a wedding, and instead of shoes, he made a six pair of Air Force Ones with the wedding logo instead of shoes. So they all had on tuxes with Air Force Ones. And I was like, oh wow, you got the wedding Air Force Ones. Like, you know what I mean? People also are a part of what Keep It Going too. The Off-Whites that Virgil did. Those were examples of collaborations with a shoe that's already what it is. So what can they do to make it more than it is? I think those are the things that help it stay afloat and stay around. The shoe has it's been around, man. It's went through all different points. It's classic, man. It's, 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 it's not much you can say about a classic, but it's classic.